I'm still in denial. I don't know what stage I'm at at this point. Probably stage four, stage five. So it's got to be some sort of denial section going on here right now. Uh, let me know in the comments where you are right now. Are you Have you accepted Leicester's fate now? Or are you still in denial like myself? Anyway, let's get into a bit of news today. So this one is from the Football Insider. This one is about Harvey Barnes and uh, current affairs. So let's get into this one. But before we do, smash the likes, hit the subscribe button and let's go and do this. Right. Leicester City will be forced to offload Harvey Barnes this summer due to transfer interest in the Leicester City winger. According to Football Insider, the Foxes financial situation will be down to a sale of key assets this summer. That means that Leicester being relegated, they will have little choice but to accept the offers that are expected to arrive very soon. We know where this is going. We know exactly what clubs they are going to talk about. There are a number of clubs <laughs> that have been linked with weighing up an offer for Harvey Barnes. But concrete bids have not come in just yet. Who is interested in signing Harvey Barnes from Leicester, you ask? Newcastle United have been linked with a move for the 25-year-old in the upcoming transfer window, with Barnes understood to be quite keen on the move. I'm not surprised, they are the richest club in the world, technically speaking. Tottenham Hotspur, why would he go there? Aston Villa, okay they've got some, Euro, some sort of European football, uh, have also been mentioned as monitoring the wingers situation at the King Power Stadium. We will need to, in we will, Leicester, we will need to reduce the size of our wage bill as we prepare for life in the Championship. That's, that's just the way it is. Okay. The club is ranked 21st in the world for the wage bill. The highest wage, 21st in the world, right? That's on a record loss of £90 million, pounds, I think, year on year, 2021-22 campaign for Leicester. Um... If we got Champions League football that season, we probably would have been all right. Uh, so it remains to be seen just how much any of these clubs will be willing to pay to sign Harvey Barnes or even Madison with a figure of 40 to 50 million pounds mentioned as possible sale price for the two key players. Now, to me, Harvey Barnes is he's an important player at Leicester. Uh, you know, he's emerged from the academy, I think it was 2017. But didn't become a regular till around 2018. Uh, I think it was Claude Puel's campaign. But since then, I think he's grown and, you know, his importance to the squad. Um, two fifth finishes. The FA Cup triumph, don't forget. I think he did well in that as well, really. Um, it's not, he's been an in and out this season. But, you know, I, I can't believe it was two years since the bloody FA Cup final, man. Didn't time just... Oh, time goes fast. Anyway, Barnes has, uh, has 35 goals and 25 assists in five Premier League seasons. Um, so that's a good record. It's a good record. And I don't want to lose him, I'll be honest with you. But the question is, does Harvey Barnes have a future here at Leicester? When you look at the individual aspect of the player, he's going to want European football. Villa have got it. Newcastle have got it. Yeah. So... I think Leicester will need to get the highest amount of money possible. And he's that sort of calibre that's going to get around £40 million. So maybe he will go to the highest bidder in the summer. It's a consequence of the relegation at the end of the day. You know, he is a Premier League calibre player. And, you know, if you see the likes of Tottenham, Villa and Newcastle coming in, it will offer a bit more for his future, including Champions League football. And guess what? England football, international call-ups. You know, that's all part of... Playing football is to reach the top. So for me, I think it's it's pretty much given. Anyway, you know, given the fees being touted, this will be a huge windfall for Leicester, which will really help ease some of the financial concerns at the club. And speaking of departures, um, Yuri announced his farewells yesterday. Uh, the club captain has wished the Foxes well and will be a free agent going into the summer. With Aston Villa, bookies, favourites to sign your Tienemans. Probably check out the video I uploaded yesterday on the rant on that one. Moving on with Yuri and Cags. Yeah, if you forgot, Cag lost and choose at Atletico. Well, not currently, but he is going Atletico. Leicester will expect to see a fair few more departures from our current playing squad go. Uh, how we recruit in the upcoming transfer market will play a huge role uh, in the success of the championship season. 
One player who has already been linked with the Foxes more due to the likely fact that James Madison's probably on his way out will be Queen's Park Rangers creative talent Elias Chair. If you've not seen this one on Twitter and going about all over the place, I'd search him up because he looks quite decent. A report from Football Insider again has claimed that Leicester are, you know, looking at a potential placement for James Madison. First of all, Madison is a fantastic, you know, talented player. Uh, and he probably does deserve to play top-end Premier League football. He's not going to get that ch at the championship level. He's got 13 months left on his contract. I think we should probably end up cashing in again because we're on the championship. It's, it's, that's it, you know. However, Elias Chair is a player who has looked a level above at times in the championship. And within a side that is expected to see a lot of ball and around extremely talented individuals that we do have left, he could rise to heights beyond what we have already seen at Leicester. I'm not saying he's going to get better than Madison, but this has all the makings to be a very good move for Leicester and the Moroccan international himself. He is in need of a, a fresh start, you know, from what I'm seeing. He, his confidence, it will help him out as well because he's had a little bit of a blow in recent months. Um, so looking at it, Leicester will be looking to replicate what Burnley did last year where they found some magic gems, you know, um, you know and look where they are. It could be a fantastic pickup for Leicester. Simple as that. Um, you can't compare the two, Madison and Cher. But for Leicester, being in the Championship, it could be a great addition to the to the squad. Um, it wouldn't be, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if maybe we went in for 10, 15 million pounds. That QPR might go because mm. he's going to be interested in coming to a, a bigger club like Leicester in the Championship. You know. Uh, He's shown time and time again in recent seasons. Uh, you only need to search him up on YouTube and some of his best bits and you'll see how good of a player he is. And um, Maybe he will want to test himself in the Premier League and, and Leicester, again, are that sort of catch for a, an individual like himself to potentially get into top five football. Um, signing for Leicester and winning promotion could be one pathway there, you know. And with only two years left on his contract at QPR, it's getting to a time where the club either need to assure and sign an extension or cash in at maximum value. And I think £50 million, I think QPR would snap Leicester's hands off. Uh, presumably funds won't be an issue for us, you know, with the likes of Madison and Barnes up for sale. So, and parachute payments as well, don't forget. I don't know the situations and, and financials of Leicester as we stand, but I do know that we've got to be a bigger club than a lot of clubs in there financially. Surely, you know, um, I think... Overall, last season, I think he got 14 league goals at Elias Chair, uh, which is a cracking record. Um, you know, so he's, he, he plays most of the season where he's kind of in an attack role. So imagine what he could do at Leicester, who, you know, who, we, we show strong attacking options when James Madison's playing and Harvey Barnes is, uh, were playing. So we need to bring in that same sort of calibre player. The Foxes should have some money to spend when some of their top stars are cashed in on. And Elias is certainly a player who is deserving of a move to a club who will be looking to challenge for automatic promotion. Again, that's that's it. It's it's promotional bust, I think, for Leicester. We've got to rebuild, we've got to refocus and and keep going. I, I honestly there's so many players that I can see leaving that we're gonna to have to do a full rebuild to to, to gain promotion. Um I've already mentioned the players that are out of contract. Uh, Johnny Evans, Ryan Bertrand, um, who don't really care about him. Uh, Daniel Amate is another one. Mendy, I think, is important. Mendy is so important to get an extension. I think he's going to be key with KDH in midfield uh, in the championship. I think we do have to extend the contract of Mendy. I am... I'm certain that we can hang on to a few players. Um, and speaking of a few players, that there's only one player that I've really seen come out so far, out of the woodwork, to say sorry to the fans for relegation. Um, and it hits the feels when you see it. And that's Ricardo Pereira, who tweeted, I think he actually posted on Instagram as well, which was a big apology, you know, just an apology to the Leicester faithful that, you know, that the, the team have let them down and blah, 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 blah. I haven't seen anyone else post anything except Nacho on, you know, post-match against West Ham. So, they've all been very quiet. I'm a bit disappointed, to be honest with you, in some of the players that have been quiet. I don't know if they've been told to or not. We don't really know. All we know is that 
the official statement came out from Quantop, which is a previous video that I recorded as well. I want to hear from the main man. I want to hear from Jamie Vardy. I want to hear from the GOAT. I want to hear from the legend. I want to, I want to hear what he's got to say about his status at Leicester. Is, is it time to call, you know, to hang up the boots? Or is it time to call action and go, we're going to get back into the Prem next season. I'm going to be forefront of the, you know, of the strike force. I'm going to be the GOAT again. I want to hear from the likes of your, your even your Everson, but he's got a voice. Yeah, I just want to hear from some of these players. Ones that care. Ones that want to stay. Ones that want to be a part of getting this team back into the Premier League. Guys, smash the likes on the video. Hit the subscribe button. I want to hear your thoughts, your comments on Bonds to Newcastle, Bonds to Villa, Bonds to Spurs, Bonds to anywhere else. I want to hear what you, where you think would be best for him or do we try our best to keep him potentially losing money later on when his contract don't, ex don't get extended and it runs out and he goes for free too. What do you guys want us to do? Maximise profits or hang on? For some of our players let me know in the comments and i shall see you on the next video